Hey YouTube, welcome to this video. I'm gonna talk about Veritone today, which is another potential stock in artificial intelligence. So before we go deep down, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because this is how I get to know your interest and we'll make more videos. So Veritone is a growth stock which I generally love to invest in. So right now it's a small cap company under one billion dollars in artificial intelligence sector. So it's recently picked the hype because it added the support for NVIDIA CUDA for its AI machine learning program. So if we try to figure out the opportunities and strengths of this stock, Veritone is providing an AI based operating system. Basically what they do is to transform unstructured data like audios, videos, text and so to analyzable data. Last year the stock showed massive growth in 52 weeks and listed in the Forbes 2021 best small cap companies. So potentially in the coming years this is going to gain more hype because the AI market is going to be almost 300 billion dollars by 2024 and will expand more by 2030. That's why there is a huge potential in this industry in the long run. And I have explained the details in my C3 AI video as well. So if you want to know the details, just click on the I button above. Now this growth rate projects the company revenue will expand exponentially, which will certainly generate more cash flow for this company. Even though Palantir's marketing is better, but Veritone's marketing strategy is also not bad. So right now the company has more than 1800 customers, including the Department of Justice, Police, Relativity, RVM, Deloitte, Epic, Open Text, and many more. Since the company is also targeting audio and video analysis, so big media houses including CNBC, Bloomberg, HBO, and other big names are also the customers of Veritone. So that's how the company is attracted to the both government and corporate sector and builds strong corporate relationships, which will certainly impact the future contracts. And I'm expecting more contracts from blue chip companies which will increase the revenue of this company massively. Veritone also facilitates the energy sector and its AI is capable of forecasting and optimizing energy needs and distributions. That's how the grids can control the amount of energy and cost for each device based on the forecasted demands and load. This can make the energy sector even more efficient and companies can increase revenue by cutting off the cost of inconsistent energy delivery and network congestions. Now if we talk about the threats and weaknesses of this company, Veritone and C3 AI have similar types of threats, so Veritone needs to compete with numerous big tech companies providing AI solutions including Google TensorFlow, Amazon, C3 AI, Palantir. So these are the companies going to capture more clients because they have built more reputation already. Although C3 AI and Veritone incepted almost at the same time, but the C3 AI got more clients because they have marketed their product in a better way in my opinion. But now Veritone also trying to capture international market and is making sure of its presence in EU. So hopefully in coming year, it will get more clients. And they must need to focus on marketing strategy to grow, otherwise the company cannot stand with the other competitors. Last year, Veritone decreased the research and development cost, which in case of an artificial intelligence company is crucial. This is the core thing the company should invest in, otherwise they would not be able to build a robust AI system that will compete with others in performance. So this is the major part which is making me more skeptical about this company's future growth. Because so far Google and Amazon having amazing AI infrastructure and they are still spending billions of dollars in research and development. In this kind of environment where Veritone is not alone, they should increase the cost of research and development rather than spending on other expenses. But it seems it was just because of the cash. So now let's talk about the financial situation real quick. So total market cap of Veritone is almost $790 million, which means it has a lot of potential to grow, which makes it a growth stock as well. If we see its revenue growth as well as the earnings, both are going up. But keep in mind that the earnings are still negative, which means the company is not making any cash yet. But the good thing is with every coming quarter, it's been Meeting its estimated EPS. Moreover, the company has $114 million of cash, which is not bad for a small cap company. And the main thing is to consider here is that they have no debt, although they have borrowed some $6.5 million as a loan from a bank in April 2020, but they have returned that in paycheck protection program for small businesses hit by the pandemic. They have raised $59 million in recent offering, which they had planned in 2020. That's why the net change in cash is $70.75 million, which was only $6 million in 2019. This is how I'm expecting this year Veritone is going to invest in R&D more because it makes sense that last year they didn't have enough cash to invest in the marketing and R&D. So now let's talk about the ratios briefly to find out the company's solvency. The current ratio is 1.77 and quick ratio is 1.70 which means the company has less liabilities than its assets. The absolute liquidity ratio is 1.30. It indicates that they have enough liquid assets that they won't go bankrupt in any near future. But one thing I'm going to point out is that the company is having operational losses because 
they are mainly spending on general administration a little too much in my opinion and i think this amount should be spent on r d for now total institution buying is 43.2 percent which is not bad this much support of institution is good and i believe it's good time to buy before institution kick into this stock heavily or maybe this stock will go viral like gamestop management also looks good especially the ceo and his brother have solid marketing background and found various successful startups like ad force toucan media and both were acquired by the steel connect later they co-founded the dmark broadcasting and so to the google and also found the brand affinity technology and in 2014 they founded the veritone these guys have a vision and history of generating super class ideas and startups my final thoughts about this stock are positive and in my opinion there are a lot of strengths and opportunities in this stock as compared to its weaknesses a couple red flags but according to my analysis the company is raising cash to take off and they are going to focus on their weaknesses this time but for me as i mostly invest for a very long term so i'm buying this stock for at least three years and i'm expecting the stock value to reach 150 in next three years and to 75 within a year just keep in mind i'm not a financial advisor i just make videos for information purpose so don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button i'll see you in the next video